Chris, what did you get me into? What did you get me into? All right. Hey, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV, and today we are playing the game formerly known as Glitter Mitten Grove, currently known as Text World, and also the One-Armed Bandit, the slot machine. Um, we're trying to merge with Dwight's Mind Stone, I think is what it says. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Maybe 20. What's my real age? I know I have to ask. I'll just be, I'll be 28. That's pretty close. All right. The engineering construction might when Emperor... Dave. And it's not Meiji, because Meiji is like the, the dynasty. Maybe it is. Yeah, alright. I guess when your dynasty starts with your name. Um, Pasteur's prostration was called pasteurization. It was intended to destroy his entire family. Bacteria. Um, after the Civil War, minstrel shows transitioned from starring white people in blackface to... Black people in white? No, it was still white people in blackface, wasn't it? Minstrel shows just black people in blackface? That doesn't make any sense. Yes. I, yeah. I mean, they would still dress them up the same horrible racist way. They would just let them do it. Um, all right. A duke in a letter. Your excellency, your constancy. Honored sir. I think it's your excellency. Uh-oh. The panic of... Dude, they panicked each of those years. How many of these questions are there? They said five, but there's a lot more than five. Prince Nez are unique among glasses in that they... Are completely opaque? Oh! I got really close. Why... Well, it's Dwayne, not Dwight. I'm. I apologize. I wasn't quite old enough. What am I doing with my life? All right. Um. Exposed her midriff on stage. Uh oh. Okay, Women in the Garden is a painting by, I believe it's Monet, yeah. I know a little bit about art, but not a lot. The 15 puzzle was invented by someone that I don't know, so I am going to guess. Sam Lloyd. Yeah, I'm a kid. All right, if I get lucky and I get a bunch of the questions I actually know, we might get through this. I'm 40 years old. Shogun Takugawa's army was defeated using... Um, it's going to be surplus rifles from the American Civil War. Uh, I remember that. There have been so many games about samurai being outclassed by guns. Like, so many. Um, Alright, the Sales Canal in Egypt was built with partnership with... I'm going to say... I'm going to say Spain, but I'm probably wrong. Yep, alright. Only franchise of the Brooklyn Enigma was supposed to have gone 14 years without speaking... I'm a kid. I, you know, I could just Google search each of these, but that seems like such a cheat way to do it. I guess it's better than wasting everybody's time. I'm not going to do it, though. We'll see. I'm 30 years old. Momoka in Tokyo was built for housing the, uh, I want to say, the guests from overseas? Yeah. All right. Luminous ether must be transparent, massless, and without viscosity, and... Electrically charged. Nope. Okay. Crinoline is... A typesetting machine? I'm, I have no idea, man. Some of these are really rough. I are, I are the 18. All right. Unwrap a mummy. What? No, that's right. It was. That seems like a joke, but I bet you it was. Yeah. They would get, um, they would get mummies or ancient artifacts and they would have unwrapping parties like modern unboxings to just unwrap all of the special stuff and see what they look like. 
Yeah, all right. Upon loving Ulysses, yes, Grant used his political slogan in 1810. I don't know this one, and I'm going to just guess. But um, I'm going to say grant them no quarter, or grant is another term. Grant them no quarter. I blew it. Scallywag is a supporter of piracy. I'm a kid. I don't know. Scallywag is something pirates call people, but I don't know. Uh-oh, I'm 200 years old. Let me look at this one I might be able to do. Alright, um. Oh, I guess not. Carpetbagger is a type of merchant, isn't it? I'm a kid. I don't know, man. <laughs> and see these five. I'm pretty sure it's more than five. Alright, he cannot lie. Does not know what the truth is. Want to tell his wife. Alright. Gift of Union prim Primrose indicates patience. I blew it. I did that. I've blown that one a couple of times now. Pale or lead colored nails indicate I'm pretty sure. Nope. Uh, never mind. I was confusing um in Anne Rice's interview with a vampire, their vampire, their nails get really weird. Um, and it's like they allow, they give you the ability to scratch people. They become super hard as like stone, but they turn, um, they turn opaque white or do they turn black? I think they turn black and then they have to paint them. I'm not sure. Um, Adelina Patty is, I'm going to believe she's a, I clicked the wrong thing. The Great Fire of... All right. The Ten-Year War took place for ten years. Wonderful. Naturalism movement was inspired by what writer's work? Well, Darwin did, did uh, you know, evolution. Karl Marx is a prominent author in relation to communism and the supporter and other stuff. John Muir is a modern comedian. Let's do this one. Nope. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going to speed 21. Um, laudanum is a solution of alcohol, opium, and cocaine, actually. I'm pretty sure. No, it's methylated spirits. Nope, I'm wrong. It's probably cocaine. Um, yeah. Gas pipes refers to vocal cords. Nope, I'm a child. I have to stop guessing the same thing that I guessed before when it's wrong. All right. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it this time for sure. I have a good feeling about being 37. Uh, all right. Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, Ulysses S. Grant, and yeah. I only barely remember that stuff because I haven't covered it since high school. I don't think that he would steal candy from a baby. That is wrong. Okay, Walter Crane is arguably best known for his work. Dogs and cabbages cannot be right, but I really want to click it. Uh, what if it's right? What if I'm really sad? I'm a kid. I'm a child. I know I have no self-impulse control. I knew that... It, why would you have a painting named Dogs and Cabbages? make any sense there I'm 36 the German Empire one down Donald Dinny his deep baritone I don't know who he is should I just start googling these should I be a cheater you know all right hold on what is an effective what isn't effective. <laughs> I'm 
Bimetallism is a theory that all matter is composed of only two metals. Heart movement, tin and gold leaf. Use of a gold and silver standard? No, it's got to be one of these two. I can't be old enough to play this game. I messed it up. Spraxris. Darn it. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Because it killed you. Virtue has never been respectable as... Happiness. Oh, I missed it. Alright. I said baseball last time, but I'm not sure if that was right. I'm an idiot. I... Oh, alright. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. All right. I am sick of this. I'm going to go and open up a tab of Google and we're going to just, we're going to get this thing done. I, I'm not smart enough to do this and I'm going to admit it right now. All right. So here we go. All right. I am going to pick my real age because we're going to kick its butt. All right. Actually, I don't think that's my real age. Never mind. Um, after the Civil War, minstrel shows transition starring from... We know this one. This is black people in blackface. Pastor's pasteurization was intended to destroy bacteria. Woman in the Garden is a painting by... Okay, so this one I'm actually going to look up. Yep, it is a Monet, just like I thought before. I was correct, so we're three in. Now, what the hell is this stuff? Yep, all right, and it is. it does not touch your ears because it's the kind that go on a little string. We just looked it up. All right, we got one more question, unless this game is lying to us, which it has not, of course, has not done yet at all. Okay, the Rimicon was built for housing. I'm pretty sure it's guests from overseas. I'm pretty sure we picked that before, but I'm not going to mess up. Yeah, all right, it was built... House guests from overseas. Thank you. All right. We got this thing done. I'm closing Google. I'm so sorry. I have never been more ready. What is this? All right, well, that's, that's what I already knew. Okay, hold on. Todd is the worst roommate. Not only is he a gross alien, but he also has personal habits. Also, if you got him to move out, you could take over the master bedroom. And unfortunately, he has acid for blood and makes friends with a lot of your friends, Practi making direct warfare impractical. Today's the last day before you both sign the new lease. You have until 8 p.m. to make him move out. Spraxis stands for Super Passive Aggressive Xenomorph Roommate Irritation Simulator. <laughs> okay, um, hold on. What do we got? Your inventory. All I've got is self-loathing. All right, I'm going to, so what's, Todd seems cool. Um, let's go fuck up some shit. Let's go fuck up the kitchen. That always pisses people off. Let's go to the, let's go there. I want to drink Todd's beer. Todd has a six pack of fat tire he's been saving to celebrate the passing bar, or passing the bar. You grab one of the bottles and chug it. Stick it back in the case. Dude. What's up? Todd opens the fridge. Dwayne! Did you drink one of my beers? No. You respond doing your best to sound both unconcerned and offended. Um, I'm going in your room now. Dude, his bed is like a bunch of pods. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen sink. Run water in the sink. Todd is buttering some toast. You run water in the sink very loudly for over a minute. Dude, don't waste water. 
But I'm washing my hands, you say, and stick your fingertips under the flow. Hygiene is very important to humans, you explain. All right, Todd's going to the bathroom. Let's go fuck up his computer. I'm going to uninstall Steam. Oh, yeah, no, no Skyrim saves. Oh, shoot, he's going to come catch me. He's going to come catch me. All right, um, and then I'm going to fuck with his clothes while I'm here. I'm going to just take some stuff. And then, oh no, don't come in here, don't come in here, don't come in here. I'm gonna go trash him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put fluids in the trash can. Fill a cape paper cup of water, take a single sip, then drop the whole thing in the trash. Dude, Todd says, don't do that. Don't do what, you say. Okay, I need to find some place to stash these shirts because otherwise... Um... I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna change. Oh, see, I don't wanna. I don't wanna hide the remote control. You put the remote control behind the television. Well, it's very hard to see. You cover it with a pile of tangled AV cables. Okay, he's studying. So now I'm gonna try to be really loud. Change the TVs. Yep. All right. You change the video and put to S video. <laughs> Me and my dad have this joke about S-Video that nobody ever uses it, but it is an option on everything. So, there you go. He's gonna eat. Um, I'm gonna go fuck up the table while he eats. There's nothing to do here right now. Okay, well. Refrigerator, go, 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 go. Talk loudly with Todd. While Todd is trying to eat, you engage him in an argument about which episode of Dexter's Laboratory was the most quintessential. Dwayne, I don't care. Point out towards having a critical eye towards the popular media is important for those who truly care about our culture. Going back to, oh, he's going back to napping? Dude, I wanna go be loud. How can I be loud? Um, go fuck up the bathroom sink, I guess, since he's napping. Leave hairs on the sink. You to dissolve the porcelain with acid spittle. Why can't you leave your mark here too? Pull out some of your hairs and leave them all over the bottom of the sink. I'm also going to leave a note. It says, do not wash mouth slime down the drain. Uh-oh. Have you been shedding in the sink, Todd asks. Have you been shedding in the sink, you respond? But I don't have hairs, Todd says. Leave a note on the TV. Turn off completely after use. You scroll and stick it directly in the middle of the screen. I'm the worst passive aggressive roommate ever. S video. What the heck even is that? Todd hisses in annoyance. I know, right? Nobody knows what S video is for. It's not for anything. Um, I'm gonna go fuck with your sports equipment. Dude, no, 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 no. Okay, he's going to the bathroom. Todd reads your note. Hey man, I'm really sorry if I've been dissolving the sink. He says, I've been trying to avoid that, but it's hard. You know my mouth and all, you understand? Waits for a sign of understanding, which you don't respond. I'm sorry, Todd. I feel really bad. Todd's a nice guy. I'm gonna just take his, some of his books. Grab one of Todd's books. Uh, <laughs> Todd's Xenomorph Rights textbook. Take that, Rights of Xenomorphs. Uh-oh, he's studying. He's gonna come in and find me started to see you in his room what are you doing in here i'm looking for my cat do you have a cat todd asks worriedly looking around the room it's not safe in here if my eggs hatch okay um <laughs> have you seen my latex lying around he asks he spends a few next few minutes searching for it without success um todd give todd advice about studying we tell Todd that he should be sitting up straighter in his chair and skimming his text more quickly. You know how I study? I've done with two years of law school and top university. I'm just trying to help you, say. Todd's suspicion. Motions for you to follow him. Can you not hang out in my room when I'm not here? Yeah, absolutely, dude. I will totally do that. I'm going to go shower. Going to put Todd's shirts in the shower? And then, wait, Todd searches the couch cushions for a good five minutes. Dwayne, he eventually asks, have you seen the remote? You remain silent. I'm gonna leave a note on the shower. 
No eggs to be laid in shower, you write. Leave stuff on the shower floor. You take a long, weird shower, making sure to leave little scrapes of toilet paper and clumps of dirt all over the shower floor. <laughs> long, weird shower. Um, Todd reads your note. Please do not leave stuff on the TV screen, he says. It might damage it. You're absolutely right. Um, mess with the valves in the toilet tank. You mess with the back of the toilet and just mess with everything at random. You're sure you're not sure what you've achieved. What? Keeping a pet pill bug requires a moist habitat with limited light can live two or three years. Okay. Um, I don't want to be in Todd's room right now. That's not what I meant. Dresser. Read Todd's porn stash. Oh no. That magazine. Hot extraterrestrial bonds. The whole magazine is pictures of unclothed lava monsters relaxing in liquid form in marble bathtubs. Yikes. Um, I'm gonna go. I need to go do something else. He's not as annoyed as he is suspicious. I'm gonna drink another one of Todd's beers. Take all the ketchup from the fridge. I'm gonna take ketchup from the fridge. And conceal it slightly on your person. Okay. And then I'm going to... <laughs> hey, where are my rollerblades? Todd asks. You don't answer. You're not your brother's rollerblades, Keeper. I'm going to rearrange all... I'm going to leave a note on the fridge. Um, food older than 10 days without written name will be removed, you scrawl. Feels a little corporate. And I'm gonna drink another one of Todd's beer. Oh, you open the fridge for a neck to elect not to close it. <laughs> oh, he's gonna use the bathroom. All the weird stuff on the floor. Gosh, Dwayne, are you sh shedding? No, I'm not. Dude, Todd's super annoyed. I'm gonna drink another one of Todd's beers. You guzzle another of Todd's beers and feel a little nauseous, but this is the nausea of victory. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's almost eight. He's he's at 98%. What can I possibly do to make him more mad? I need to make him more mad right now. Um, stand, I'm going to stand directly behind Todd and breathe on his head. Tolerate Todd, teen, or Todd tolerates you for about 30 seconds. Dwayne, I have 360 degree spatial awareness. I know you say. So you're standing when I know you're standing there. I know. Todd moves out next Tuesday. You think you've won, but your phone notifies you of a lengthy Facebook Todd. Todd has written about your behavior. I'm very disappointed in my roommate, Dwayne. He's been harassing me and making my life miserable. And why does he keep wearing combat armor around the house? All of your mutual friends have liked the message. You may have some difficulty finding a replacement roommate. Oh, man. Dude, I already had autocorrect roller skates what's going on with this well okay so that is done we did it we successfully passive aggressively removed our roommate now we at cyberpunk tv do not actually uh recommend that you passively aggressively try to get your roommate to move out we recommend that you talk to them and figure out some mutual ground and then figure stuff out because nobody likes passive aggressive post-it notes <sighs> all right that's it for today guys um that was a really fun episode I have no idea what this game is, but I'm going to keep playing it until I run out of things to show you. So uh, I'll see you guys around.